guys welcome to my channel hope you're doing well so taurus this reading will be for you if you have any taurus placements or if you're dealing with a taurus all right guys so let's see what you need to know let's do what you need to know and what you want to know okay because we know they're two different things now okay so let's get straight into it let's get an angel number please remember to give the video a thumbs up it really helps subscribe if you haven't done already guys okay let's get the subscribers up okay thank you very much all right so Taurus, let's get an angel number message for you. Message for Taurus, please, for today. Number five, I am adaptable. Vital, yeah, very vital. Let's see. So five, I am adaptable. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavours. Now, I want to say with that as well, um, sometimes we pray, we pray for change and sometimes not everybody, I guess when I was young, I didn't pray a lot, even though I was I grew up like Christian and that, that's not a faith that I, it's not my faith. I'm spiritual, I just, you know. Anyways, I want to say sometimes we ask for things, but, the opportunities come to us and it's really how we go about it our mindset when it comes to us if we're willing to take it on if we're willing to go about things differently that's everything okay so if you've been asking for change and something comes your way and you go about it in the same way you've probably let's just say i don't want to say missed the blessing but kind of okay so it's really how you go about it all right, Taurus. What deck shall I use for Taurus? Let's use this one. What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? That's crazy. That's really, that's really, the message that just come out, the card, five, I am adaptable. And what I just said, and what just come out in the tarot, creepy. So the three of swords come out and the four card. So there could be something that you've gone through recently. Um, maybe in the last few days, few weeks, few months, last year, last two years. Okay, it'll be different for all of you guys. Where it's been challenging for you. Okay. Um, something maybe that you didn't expect, something that was a shock to you, um, something that, let's just say, hurt you, okay? Some of you guys heartbroken, yes. But, I know I'm going to say this, and especially, if you're new to my channel, like, what I'm about to say, you might think, okay, like, you know, real life happens, but if you've been watching me for a while, and even if you watch my previous tourist reading, You'll understand even what I've myself have been going through recently. And I know a lot of you guys shared your story as well. So some of you guys have lost certain people as well in your life. But the reality is certain things happen in life. But the reality is life does continue. How are you? And this is this is literally about you adapting. OK, I'm going to show you the three of swords and the full card. This is. This is, okay, I felt that hurt, okay? I felt like a knife went through my heart. I felt, I felt like I'd been heartbroken. But, but, does it mean that didn't happen? Okay, I'm not saying those things did not happen. Yes, it's happened. You've experienced it. But I still will continue the fall. I will still go on. I will still go on my journey. I will not be um, stagnant. The fall is still... The fool has gone through everything in the deck, in the tarot deck, yeah? Every emotion, every feeling, every experience the fool has gone through, okay? And still continues his journey, okay? Regardless of what's happened, he still gets up, still wakes up, still goes to work, still looks after the kids, still runs the business, still, still takes care of, of himself, still is open to to new friendships, new love, still open, still, still open to new opportunities. Whatever's happened in the past, Taurus, 
please don't let that prevent you from taking the steps at the full word. Okay? And that is being optimistic still, having faith still, being forever studious, being able to laugh and be silly. Okay? Um, you know, it's, life is a beautiful thing. It's a, it's, you know, a lot of things happen. But you know what, guys? This is a reminder that, you know, keep going. It's okay to feel what whatever you've been feeling, whatever you experienced. And I'm not going to downplay anything because I know everybody, like me personally, my, my father passed away. Okay, there's, you know, uh, a few months ago. Yeah. Um, and life does still go on. Okay. Um, and I know that might be hard, especially when you've had such a close relationship with somebody. But please remember yourself. Okay. And whether it's a, you broke up with a, with somebody, the love of your life, you lost a job. Please remember that sometimes this, this well, not sometimes there's something else out there for you to to enjoy, to achieve, to move towards. OK. That's what you need to know. Let's let's continue that. Tell me more, please, about Taurus. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It could be an Aries. doesn't have to be. Tell me more, please. You want to come out. Seven of Cups. Yeah, sometimes, this is the reality, guys. This is the reality. Some of you guys, Seven of Cups, I don't know what to do. What's next? What option should I choose? Where shall I move forward? Could be some kind of confusion there. Um, that's okay. That's normal, too. It allows yourself to think and reflect. All these things, there's not nothing to hurt you. It's stuff for you to, to take us. Okay, I feel like I'm talking to like... I, when I talk to you guys, you know, I talk to you how I talk to my friends, how I talk to my family, yeah? That's how I talk, yeah? Like, that's how I am with you guys because that's what, that's what you guys are. You, you're normal people, yeah? Um, and it's normal. Um with the justice, I do see something going in your favour. The justice card has come out in the Six of Swords. I do see things balancing out. And that could be your emotions. That could be your finances. That could be things that you've been wanting coming towards you, okay, that you needed to kind of give you that boost. All right, guys, um, to move forward. Love it. Some of you guys could be travelling at some point moving towards something but I do see you guys overall continuing on a path and it is going to be there is going to be this moment or moments that actually that happened to me today funny enough Taurus where um my bell rang three times today and it's so it's so weird the first one was um I'm not going to, I'll just say it, my bank saying, hey, we messed up with this. I'm going to give you some money. It wasn't a lot, but it was some money. I was thinking, okay, that's nice. So that was, the f then my bell rang again. It was a gift from my beautiful friends. She bought me this beautiful necklace along with a beautiful card and um, a, um, a, a teddy bear and um, some other things. Beautiful. And the next one was stuff um, for, actually it was this. I've been loving these head ties, yeah. Like so, so I was like, okay, that's nice. That was really nice. Just certain little things, yeah. And it could be the smallest things to make you appreciative. Okay. Um, of things. Let me see. What else is coming up for Taurus, please? And the thing is, I want some of you guys could be in this energy right now. Some of you guys could be coming out of this energy. So I'm gonna see what else is coming up next, okay? For the ones who have maybe moved past this energy either way even if you're in this energy right now it's good to know what's coming up yeah so the nine of cups and the six of wands feeling content feeling happy the prob you probably will be getting more attention feeling good about yourself okay this is this is you being appreciated taurus this is you whether it's you appreciating yourself your peers your family appreciating you, your 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 work, your your colleagues, your boss. Okay, you're allowing yourself. This is I feel like for a lot of you guys, 
especially with the justice six of swords before before the nine of cups and the six of wands this is you allowing yourself to feel good this is allow you allow what if, what if, what are you guys going through maybe you're having a bit oh it's pa pisces season a okay guys if you don't know i'm a pisces yeah pisces you know when we really think about it the high priestess that sometimes is like in our could be things that that's deep within yeah so a lot of things are coming back to the surface okay guys which could maybe trigger you um that's fine it's not it's not like oh i don't want to feel this way it's about what do i do to um how do i either adapt the first message or how do what do i need to do okay and that's the fool the fool will ask those things as well what do I need to do to move forward? What do I need to do? But I do, I, there's something about you guys allowing yourself to feel good about how far you've come. I'm also, this. you're either being, whatever you've been putting out into the universe, it is really, it's coming back to you. So be patient, be grateful, because I'll tell you what, yeah, I cannot tell you, guys, how many times I've read comments, unfortunately, and it really does, is, is, is quite sad when they're like, well, I've been doing this for five, ten years. How come I haven't got this? Because you've got that attitude. Because you have that entitled attitude and you and you will have to wait longer because of that. Do you know what I mean? So I know sometimes life can it feels like life is kicking you up the backside, all that stuff. But. You know, be grateful, allow yourself to feel happy, to to be in the moment. Yeah, things will come to you. Okay. Um, for those who are like, well, why hasn't this happened for me yet? I've been trying so hard. Because your attitude, that's your attitude. You've got to be patient. It will happen when it's meant to happen. Whatever that is that you're wanting, okay? I know some people ain't going to like that, but it's not about you liking what I'm saying. It's about what is real, what it is. All right. Those who know, know. And you know I'm coming from a good place. And I'm saying it because no one ain't got time to be um, sugarcoating things. Yeah, I'm going to say how it is, guys. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll get a few more cards, what you need to know. And then I'll do what you want to know. Okay. Because that could be a whole different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see. All right, a few more cards, please. What Taurus needs to know. The Hermit. The World. Some of you guys, you're... This, this, this version of you where you've been keeping it to yourself, this version of you that you've been reflecting, that you've been um, seeking inner wisdom, okay, Things like that, maybe studying for some of you guys, whatever it is, studying yourself, studying things, just keeping to yourself. That's coming to an end. Oh, OK. I really feel like I need to say this. You know, the whole healing process that it depends on each. Everyone's different. So I can't give the same advice or whatever to everybody. But let me put it like this. If you're a person that has let's just say whether you're an introvert or extrovert yeah but say like if you've been around a lot of people and you're taking on a lot of their problems and then you are somebody you have been somebody or you're someone who has stepped away from a group of people friends family and kept to yourself try not to get overly comfortable um isolating yourself solitude and isolation are two very different things a very close very fine line very fine line okay just like there's a very fine line with g being a genius and and being um uh crazy very fine line yeah when you think about all the people that were geniuses how most most people called them them crazy sigmund freud albert einstein you know all the all, all types of people like that yeah I only threw those names out because they were clearly quite differently because they thought quite differently but that's coming to an end and allow that this is a time for you to open up guys and to connect with people to reconnect with people especially if you have been uh praying for things asking for change you can ask for change but what you're going to do when change comes to you 
Are you going to act the same or are you going to go about things differently? You don't have to answer me. You ask yourself that. And it could be as simple as accepting an invitation. Hey, tourist, do you want to go for a coffee or do you want to go here or whatever? Or do you want to do this? or And where you may, over the last few months, years, said no, start saying yes. You know, it could be like dating a different type of person, okay, or being or getting to know people from a different uh, way of life, different background, different culture. Yeah. All right. So embracing new things will make your life richer. Okay, that's what you need to know right now, Taurus. All right. So let's move on, guys. Let's move on. Let's do what you want to know. Yeah. What does Taurus want to know? I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. That is annoying me. Sorry. All right. What does Taurus want to know? Six of Wands, Knight of Swords. The world. When will I achieve the things that I... So you want to know when you'll achieve something, when when, when you'll reach that place, when you'll be... Okay. So it's more so of your state, status, status, yeah, however you want to say it. Well, people say it different. Status, yeah, that's what I say, status. Your status, yeah. Um, and it could be in different areas of your life. Okay, it could be in regards to your work. It could be in regards to like a connection that you're dealing with. Okay, um, with the Knight of Swords, it makes me feel like someone t running and talking about something. Um, tell me more about the Knight of Swords, though. The five of uh, the five of ones and the High Priestess. Some of you feel like something's in the dark or you're in the dark or you're being um, not being um, shown to the world or you're not being you're not being seen. You're not being heard. OK, you're not being um, celebrated. So I'm going to put this in a few different ways. So, for example, say if you say if you've been working for a company for a while and you've been working hard and you've brought, you've made that company a lot of money or whatever the case is, yeah, like you've just been doing good in your work, yeah, and you haven't been getting promotions, or you've been looked over, and stuff like that, and it's like, well, when am I doing this? Sometimes, this is where negotiating comes into it, yeah, so some of you guys may need to look into negotiating, and that may be uncomfortable, but that may be the very thing that you need to get, to get where you need to go, um, I'm not going to tell no one to leave their job because of that. But what I will say is that sometimes you do have to go around in a different way. So if that's the case, I'll go to the love set, love, the love side of things in a minute because I, I do see how that could relate to a love situation. But if it's a work situation and you're feeling like you've done everything you can do and you're wanting that promotion or you're wanting that uh, pay rise, well, I'm hungry now. You know when hunger strikes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get chicken and rice afterwards. Mandy chicken and rice. Yeah. I'm going to get that after. Anyways. You're not sorry. I'm pregnant. I'm hungry. I'm I'm get sidetracked. Leave me alone. Right. So I feel like if you're in a workplace and they're not, they're not rewarding you or giving you the props, giving you uh, the promotion. Yeah. You may have to like. Look for other jobs. Not say don't say nothing to them. Look for other jobs, and do you know what? See what see what other options there are, or negotiate with you, with your workplace. Say hey, do you know what? I've been here for a while. I know I, I'm more than capable of doing X, Y, Z. I've shown what I'm good at. You know, um, I re this is something that I feel like I'm more than qualified or able to do. Okay, sometimes you've got to really um, be your own ch biggest cheerleader. And really got a um so for some of you guys it's that yeah because especially with the five of ones there like the competitive and uh, nature okay some of you guys look feel overlooked in a, okay so there's that right 
um, if, or if you're self-employed, it could be simple as promoting yourself in a different way, looking about different different um, avenues to go down in regards to putting yourself out there, getting um, recognised, noticed, yeah? All right, All right, that's done. Work side. Let's do love now. So love, it could be a thing where you're dating somebody or you're with somebody. Whether you're dating somebody or you've been in a relationship with somebody, I do feel like some of you guys have this feeling like you would like for your person to be a bit more um you want to feel a bit extra special like in regards to this relationship if for the relationship or if you're in a dating stage whatever it be um you feel like you want to be appreciated a bit more okay and that could be as simple as like raw like you post bare pictures of you but why haven't you posted a picture of me or something like that or or why not give me a, a shout out or something like that oh there's something about attention here and there's also something about like wanting attention or wanting to be you know spoken about in a good light and there's also this this situation here where some of you guys are not sure where how this person, not how they feel, but like what they say about you to other people and stuff like that, or if they have your back as well. If when they're chatting, um, you know, I was about to say crud, you know, and that is not even something that I've, I've someone chatting rubbish, yeah, let me just say it like that, yeah, someone chatting rubbish, like. You're thinking, is this person backing me up? What are they defending me? Are they are they have they got my back? Yeah. Let me let me, let's let's do some more. I'm hungry as hell. I was fine when I sat down. I was fine. What else does Taurus want to know? The nine of um pentacles, yeah. Judgment. All right. All right, I'm going to get one more first. Hold. Oh, yeah, okay, Ace of Cups. Okay, some of you guys feel like you want this person to make a bit more of an effort in regards to this relationship, this connection. You you do want to feel like a priority. You don't want to feel like you're just... Um, how's... You know, like when people co-parent and it's like, okay, we're, we're both... It's like it's two very separate energies... Very separate energies, especially with the Nine of Pentacles there. It's like, okay, you're independent, that person's independent. Or you're if you even if you're single right now, like it could be like you're an independent person. You're like, okay, if I do have somebody in my life, how are we going to show up in our relationship? How are we gonna make each other important? I don't know if this is something new, but maybe some maybe some of you guys there may have been some um it could be people from your side, from their side, where there's been talks about this relationship or even some kind of concerns or like, you know, remember what it was like last time? Remember how how you, how sad you got or how down you got? Are you sure you're ready? That kind of stuff, yeah? Or like, make sure they're single now, make sure you do your research. Like someone's kind of like in, like in your ear or their ear. Now, please, first and foremost, yeah, I know someone's going to be like, well, I'm not this way. But look, sometimes we can't take those things personal. Whoever's saying that to that person, they're saying it because they care about that person. Nine times out of ten, yeah? Yeah, there's always going to be that one hater or whatever. But more time people say that to you or or another person because they care about that person's well-being, yeah? So please try not to take that personal, first and foremost. We try. I, I swear to God, yeah, that's one thing that I've learned with... with what I do and like over the last four or five years is really trying like realizing that a lot of things is not personal it's really not sometimes we have no idea how people truly feel what they went through and stuff like that yeah but I do feel like there's some kind of like delay in regards to 
where you guys are going, where things are heading, okay? Now let's look at this person's feelings for you, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm so silly. Uh, this bracelet is... This, this bracelet, yeah, was actually... Uh, I'm taking it off. Sorry, yeah, because I'm not going to lie. Obviously, I'll put on weight, yeah, but this is not giving... It's not giving room. No, it's lovely, lovely bracelet, but Jesus. Oh, my God. It's actually... Actually, let me just lift it up. Woo! Oh, my God, what's he doing? Just got really... Stomach so hard, guys. Feels weird. Anyway, okay, anyway, sorry. All right, enough of that. Enough of that. All right, let me see this person's feelings, please. Tell me about what's going on with the person on Taurus's mind, please. The person that's coming out in this reading right now, okay? The hermit. Some of you guys is a Virgo. Some of you guys are somebody who is um, keeping to themselves a bit more. Um, the hermit, it depends on, it really does depend on the kind of energy that's come out before and after, like, you know, if, uh, before hand, yeah, the type of energy, the cards as well. But the hermit is not somebody, they're not like the king of wands or it's not like someone who's in your face, you know, um, overly in your face. They're probably, what's going on with this person now? The Wheel of Fortune, the Death card. With the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card, this person is clearly going through something where they are trying to change things within themselves. They're trying to change their situation. Um, things about themselves, okay? Things about themselves. So what I was saying before about, you know, potentially, even, even if the, uh, the thoughts of, you know, um, how far do I want to go with this or... What do I want to come of this? All these things, even if it's not somebody else asking them, they're thinking that themselves as much as some of you guys are as well, okay? Um, I am getting this energy of they really do want to make some change to their personal situation. Let me ask what that is. I, I'm picking up on that strong because the hermit, that's that's obviously introspection as well. And the death card that's that's that can be many things yes somebody could have some for some of you guys this person may have lost lost somebody and it really has affected them and they're keeping to themselves for some of you guys that's the case for others of you for others of you i'll give you another um interpretation of the cards um it could also be someone really keeping to themselves because whatever they've gone through they do want to get over that before they really jump head into something and like i said it ain't personal you could take it personal all day but it's not I promise you what's this person really going through seven of swords they're finding it hard to trust guys i'm telling you my cards are backing me up my cards are backing me up I'm talking the things them and the, listen. They're finding it hard to trust. Um, and like, I'm gonna say it again. Don't take it personal. You can say, "Oh, I'm a trustworthy person." Listen. Um, do you know how? Do you know how many? Let me tell you something. Yeah. Do you know how many people that have said, "Oh, I'm trustworthy. I'm loyal," and stuff like that, turned out to be the most um, compulsive liars? Or like, if you're a certain way. You ain't got to overly um, um, try to convince anybody. That's like me sitting up here and being like, I'm a black woman. I'm a black woman in her 30s. I'm a black woman. Like, you ain't got to keep saying it. Like, you know, you can see eventually at some point, like, obviously straight away you're going to see, right? But it's like, why state the obvious? Why state something when just let me see it? Do you know what I mean? So you can say those things all day, but people lie. Oh, Taurus, some of you guys are going to be like, okay, but this, fine. Why is it getting so, this is get, this is get, not complicated, yeah, but it's deep. I think it's probably because it's Pisces season as well. 
and I'm I'm a Pisces, Pisces Sun, um, Pisces well not Pisces Sun, Mercury, North Node, Venus, something else I can't remember. Yeah, Ven yeah, that's Venus. I said I got hiccups. Oh, my body's doing stuff. Boy. Anyway, this person is really finding it hard trying to trust people, guys. Um. That is something. What else, please? Temperance. They're trying to heal. They know that this is something that is not healthy. All right, Taurus. This is this is something they're very much aware that is not going to benefit them staying in this mindset. Okay, it will prevent them from that energy that I spoke about earlier with what you want to know. The full energy moving forward and helping yourself and not staying stagnant. Not allowing things from the past to, to to keep you in the past, yeah? To keep you stuck there, yeah? And most of the time, no, not most of the time, it's ourselves that that, that that does that, yeah? So this person, they, they are aware. So it's overcoming that. They are trying to overcome that with the um, Seven of Swords and the Temperance, okay? They are trying to heal from it. The Moon... Six of Cups. Boom. The moon and the Six of Cups. There's, I'm telling you, there's emotions, there's feelings, there's things that are being suppressed. Is it suppressed or repressed? Whatever. Suppressed, yeah? Pushed down. There's motion, There's emotions that have been pushed down, yeah? And they are coming back up for this person. Some of you guys, it's happening for you as well. But it's coming back up. You can't tell me, not, look. Seven of Swords, the Temperance, the Moon, and the Six of Cups. Someone is 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 still and it's not. Look, these things happen, especially if you if you ignore. If you're if you have an avoidant personality, you're very. Let me put it like this: If you have an avoidant personality, you could very much be that kind of person that's depressed because you're not addressing the 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 situation situation. Yeah, or or not really handling or acknowledging certain things. Yeah, and it's just. Is it leaves or bury, uh, sweeping things under the rug, not actually dealing with such things, okay? So whoever that is, whether it's um, cross watch your person, Taurus, whoever that is, it will come back up at some point and it will affect you probably even more so, yeah? So um, what happened in the past like I, yeah I, I see there's trust issues okay cool that's kind of a general thing but like let's see exactly what i don't should i get no, let me just do it. i already asked it page of pentacles page of pentacles in reverse why the queen of wands Two of Cups. They don't want to say the wrong thing. They don't want to say and do the wrong thing. They are really treading lightly, Taurus. This person is... um. They're really trying to avoid saying something that can't be... And this is why I say people watch your words as well, you know. Watch your words. And it's natural to like want to say things and react to things. It's never good to react when you're angry or upset, yeah? Take a minute, sit down, do go for a walk, do something, and then really let the, that emotion settle before you react, yeah? This person, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Wands and the, and the Two of Cups, they're scared to say something because they do see this connection. They do want this. It's all. It's almost like... Do you know what I just saw? Oh, he's doing stuff. I've got to feed my son soon. I've got to feed him soon. I've got to go in a minute. So he's like, mum, feed me. <laughs> Listen, I just got an image quickly, yeah, a little vision. I saw, you know, like in a, in a, um, in a gallery or like um, where, you know, for example, where the queen has her jewels and there's like a, is it a gallery or something like that? Gallery, yeah? Like an art, not art gallery, but like 
museum, a museum or something, a museum gallery, whatever. And there's like really precious items there that are in boxes. And it's like you're in this box, Taurus. And this person it wants to get there, but at the same time, doesn't want to touch it. Because it's like, if I touch it, I might break it. I might ruin it. I might decrease the value. That sounds messed up. Not in that way. I know what you're thinking. Okay. But like, um, <laughs> I might do something to harm or, or, or I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to, I don't want to be the one. Um, this person's frightened. It's crazy because they have emotions. It's not like this person doesn't have emotions for you. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm going to tell you all day long, I ain't, I ain't got time for it. I'll move on. Yeah, I'll, I'll see that as BS and I'll keep it moving. I'll say what I need to say in the next story. But, and that's why I'm giving time to this one because it is deeper. It is something with sub substance. All right. Um, this person does not want to jump into something, say or do something they regret and then be left right at that three of swords energy in the previous reading, yeah? That heartbreak and having to start all over again. It freaks someone out. But you know what, guys? That's what the fool is, is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. Woo! Betty's itching, boy. Oh, my God. All right. Let me ask what Taurus can do to help this situation. Because I'm sure some of you guys are frustrated in some kind of way. I do understand a lot of you guys are, are, are trying to practice patience and grace and all that stuff. Which is great. Because I've, I've, I've felt the change in energy in your readings the last maybe month or so. Amazing. Oh, okay. i got to go in a minute, guys. Sorry. Let me see what Taurus can do in the meantime um, to help themselves or the situation because sometimes it's not about helping another person yeah as nice as that all sounds yeah um it, it could be as simple as hey you know i'm here i know you're going through something but i'm here okay i'm not gonna blah blah, blah. but i want to see what 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 you can do for yourself yeah That is so that is so extreme. All right, Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Three of Cups. Remember, what I said to you before about um, being invited to things and going out and stuff like that. Stop turning them down. Stop do or or if it's even if it's making new friends, stuff like that. You got to make sure that you are doing other things. When I saw the Knight of Cups, first of all, I was like dating yourself. Making sure, like, you can say dating yourself, just taking yourself out to eat, taking yourself out to shop, doing those things, not just, like, wait. I'm not saying you guys are waiting around for this person, because I'm sure you've got a million and one things to do to do yourself. But make sure that you're not sabotaging your life as well because of this um, because of this connection, okay? Please go out. Please meet up with your friends. Please celebrate things, yeah? Make sure to keep living that life. Don't shut off. King of Wands. It'll probably make him want to chase you more, him or her. King of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Do that. Do what I said, yeah? If it's resonating and you're like, boom, just do what I said, yeah? Don't um, not do things for yourself. Do, don't avoid showing up for your friends, for your family and stuff like that, yeah? Um, because this King of Wands right here is looking at the three of cups and you're one of the three of cups celebrating with your friends, like doing your own thing, okay? And the seven of pentacles is behind the king of uh, the, uh, king of wands. Does I say king of cups? Sorry, it's a king of wands, yeah? I'll just show you. King of wands and seven of pentacles, yeah? Um, he's wanting to invest more because it's like, okay, okay, it's, it's, it intrigues people, okay? It intrigues people more when you have something go, go, going on and you, not everything's just on that person. All right, flip the rolls if you need to, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, if you'd like a personal reading, all the information is in the description. Please be good to yourself, okay? Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.